there, Ulti Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we be we beat the Lake Bed Water Temple, and this and Mi Midna became an albino thanks to Zan's meddling. So in this episode, we're gonna try and fix Midna. I feel like me using the word albino there was like weird. I don't mean it in any sort of negative way. Like my only understanding of the word is that it's like. It's like, if an animal is like, weird, rare, white coat or something like that. That's like my understanding of the term, and interpretation of what it means. But like, for whatever reason, the way I said it just now just made me think like, what if somebody misconstrues this as a slur? Which is really weird, but like, I don't know, it's just... Just the way I said it, I made me suddenly really self-conscious. I, g I genuinely don't know is the thing. Please don't fall off. I don't know. Either way, I definitely remember this area of Hyrule Castle. Let's just forget that I was saying anything about anything. Let's just move on, shall we? I'm on the roof now. I think this will take us to Zelda. Zoldo! Migoldo! Hello? I'm here! Can't you see me? I can't see you! My hair is so blocky. And then Midna died. We were too late. Oh, hi! Where did you come from? Please tell me, how do we break the curse on this one? This is the one, you need him to save your world. That's why, Princess, please, you must help Link. I am a dog. What binds him is a different magic than what transformed him when he first past the Curtain of Twilight is an evil power. Our world is one of balance, just as there is light to drive away the darkness, so too is there benevolence to banish evil. That doesn't sound very balancing. <laughs> Head for the sacred grove that lies deep within the lands guarded by the spirit Farron. There you will find the Blade of Evil's Bane that was crafted by the wisdom of the ancient sages, the Master Sword. Master Sword is a sacred blade that evil can never touch. Evil cloaks you like a dark veil, and the bl that blade is the only thing that can cleave it. Link, hero sent by the goddesses. Like you, I've been granted special powers by the goddesses. You sure have. Link, you can get to the woods on your own, right? Princess, I have one, one last request. Can you tell him where to find the Mirror of Twilight? Midna, I believe I understand now just who and what you are. Despite your, despite your mortal injuries, you would act in our stead. These dark times are the result of our deeds, yet it is you who have reaped the penalty. Accept this now, Midna, I pass it to you. Something glowy's going on, that's for sure. No, Link, stop her! What was she doing? Oh, she's becoming a ghost. Well, goodbye. 
We go back, Link. Back to Farron Woods. Zelda, I've taken all that you have to give, though I did not want it. So Zelda just like somehow magically infused all of her life force into Midna to save Midna, which is cool. But now Zelda's just dead, I guess. All right. I wonder how long that's gonna last. Cause I know it's not forever. What? Magical Diamond of Doom! We sure were lucky that we got out of there in time. You know what would be kind of neat? If... If Zelda giving, putting her life force into Midna meant that Midna was now the bearer of the Triforce of Wisdom. That'd be pretty neat. I, I thought of that because, like, she, like, had her hand in a fist for a second in that cutscene. Because, you know, she was angry at, presumably, Zant for putting Hyrule Castle in the diamond. Um, and it just made me think, like, well, there was all this focus just now on, like, uh... What are these things? What are these icons? I wish there was just a freaking like, legend to just say what these things were. Whatever. Uh... Okay, so we want to go to Farron Woods. That's that way. Gotcha. Uh, she, she put her fist out, and with, like, all the focus on, like, Zelda's hand and, like, the Triforce being visible there, it just, it just made me think, like, yeah, so, like, what if what if Midna held, held her fist out, and then you saw the tr Triforce symbol appear on it, like, in her, like, green glowy twily bits. I don't know what you call them, like, the markings on her arms, but, like, now there is one for the Triforce. That would be cool! If... Because... I feel like one of the neat things about Legend of Zelda is how, like, you know, how there are all these different characters who can be different things. I feel like that would be an interesting take, though, if, like, one of the bearers was just a different character for once. Like, it's always Link, Zelda, and Ganondorf, unless it's Demise. Which, you know, I get that. I understand that. But, like, remember how cool it was when Tetra turned out to be Zelda? So, like, imagine that, but sort of, like, in the reverse, where another character becomes Zelda, in a sense. Or, like, Zelda gives herself to, like, so I'm, I'm just thinking, like, Midna is Midna, Zelda is Zelda, but then Midna's dying, and so Zelda puts herself into Midna, and now Midna is Zelda, but also Midna, and, like, I don't know, I think that would be pretty cool. That would be a cool twist. A cool way to handle things. I don't know. I know Zelda comes back because, like, she's in Smash Brothers and she does things and, like, we- I don't think we've even seen her in her dress yet, so, like, clearly, like, there is more to her... ...at some point. So, like... And obviously, Zelda does come back eventually. Somehow probably through magic but like with I don't know just just based on that cutscene alone I feel like it would be cool and make sense it would also kind of help like further Midna's arc in a bit by like giving her this new this new extra responsibility on top of like the guilt she has of like being alive instead of Zelda and also like she's clearly like worrying about others beyond herself now Can't go that way yet. 
So we haven't been here in a very long time. I don't know what I'm going to need to do. So it's gonna take some experimenting, more or less. What does Midna actually say? I'm trying to understand what, like, the red icon means. I think it's just when you enter, like, a very specific point of the map. I don't know. Let's see if this is the way that I'm supposed to go, because I genuinely have no idea. I don't know where the sacred gold could be. Could be anywhere. This is the problem with traversing an area that I haven't been to since 2017. I think this might have also been the way to the forest temple. Well, here's Farron Woods. But the thing is, I don't think I was a dog when I was here before. Can I go in this? I must be able to. Did I say must be able to? I mean, I clearly can't. Okay. But this is Farron Woods. Midna's not like hopping to anything, so I don't think I can go this way. Oh, no, here we go. Good thing I kept exploring, huh? I was ri I was like a few moments away from just like, just, like leaving. Trying to find someplace else I could go. Hi. Actually, one second before I do anything else. Doesn't look like there's any indication of like a Poe on the map. That's all I wanted to see. What like is there a Poe on the map anywhere? It does, however, look like there's six in the area, just in general, because it says one of six, and it's like this specific area. So what if I like zoom out and zoom in over here? One of 19. Okay, so like there are like, it does like spe specify like in general, like how many like things are in an area. So I don't know, I might actually consider like seeing if I can figure that out. Is that the way I came? That's the way I came. I might consider like actually searching for those, because that reminds me of, like, the Mai Mai from... From Zelda... Uh, A Link to the Past. Not A Link to the Past, A Link Between Worlds. And I really liked going over, going through those things to try and find everybody. Okay, well I'm here now. I guess this is where I want to be. Mm hmm. So I don't know. That could be fun to like try and like find, you know. To go through all that. Oh, this is the potion shop, I think. Hi. He has nothing to say about me. Oh, the monkeys! Hey! Whoa! Hello. Ah! They're like puppets from 
subspace emissary. Did you save me? Yes, I did. Since you're nice, let me tell you something. There's a really pretty wooded area on the other side of this cliff. Climbed over there, but when I tried to get deeper into the woods, those guys attacked me. What's in those woods anyway? That sounds like the sacred grove we want to go to. Apparently it's infested by weird creatures things. There's another second of forest beyond this cliff. Hiya! 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 It's kind of silly if you think about how, like... Link can clearly make all these jumps whenever he needs to. It's just that Midna has to, like, be be there to, like, prove to him that he can or something. I don't know. Alright, well... Circus Dog returns! Ooh. I can do some howling. Okay. Up, down, up, down, middle, up. I got it first try! That's a step up. I remembered the neutral position. Hello! Let's howl together. Woo! That was a little messy, but it's acceptable enough. my inner oh, 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 oh. and that will be oh that is a weird position huh oh that's probably like you go south here that's probably not like in this little water area okay because, yeah, that path was originally blocked before, but now we can probably go that direction if we wanted to. Would be my assumption. Alright. What do we got next? Sacred Grove. Gacred Sorove. Yes, sure. I was worried that I was hitting those notes too fast, but whatever. I knew this song. I think everybody knows this song. You didn't really hit those notes though, Link. Oh, hello. Is this a sacred grove or the Lost Woods? Because I hear the Lost Woods music. Okay. 
So am I gonna need to like pay attention at any point? Or am I just going forward? Hi. Oh, I attack you. Okay. Poof. Who is this fellow? He almost looks like a skull kid. But... He doesn't really seem to have like a skull, it's mostly like the outfit. Well, I don't know. Twilight Princess has weird designs for a lot of things, so it's entirely possible that this is Skull Kid. And he's just being very mean now. Seems like the main goal is to just find him and kill him. And I think he's the main source of, like, the music. Oh, I don't have a mini-map here. That's disappointing. Excuse me. Excuse me. Quit playing your trumpet. know where I'm supposed to go necessarily. I'm just gonna keep going forward in whatever pathway is open to me. Because I think the areas are changing around anyway. Is he around here? There, okay. So how am I to get up there? This could be promising. Oh, this, I, I was just here before, but it was locked off, but it might be open now. Yeah. Excuse me. Hi! Was that good enough? Hi. No, uh -oh, he's not happy. Look, we fought these things before. They're not threatening. Minna gonna say. So the gold get just get hit all four of them at once.
Problem is, they always, like, spawn around him. Okay. Oh, I get it. We had to... He, he would run away if we got close to him, but not if he was blowing his horn. That's the gimmick. Climb! Link, climb! There we go. <laughs> I was, like, holding forward, and he was just, like, look, badging his head against the wall. I was like, yep, I'm, I'm sure doing this. I need you to climb, Link. Alright. Do 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 He is defeated. And he poofed out of existence. <laughs> hee hee, bye. Alright. Th thank you, I guess. What next? I, I, I fumbled the last note there, but <laughs> they took it. God, it's the statue jumping! I mentioned this a few days ago! This is it! That's the statue's ass! <laughs> we are guardians of this land. Guide us to where we once stood. Only then can you enter the true sacred grove. Okay, so this is what I watched my cousin do. I have no idea what the solution is. Okay, so. You can't jump on me. Alright. Mango was getting that other one out. I think I have a problem that I can't go down anymore. Because <laughs> this guy goes in the same placements that I do. Alright, so... So... Now that I know that I can't go down if he's a space below me... Okay. I really don't know what I'm doing is a thing. Can't 
keep him going up. Hmm. This is a genuine puzzle. That's for sure. That's gonna kill me. Damn it. That's really annoying. There there are caveats to this puzzle that are that make it annoying. The thing is I don't really know like what the I know the end goal, but I don't know like how to get that solution necessarily. So I'm just gonna keep like What I need to be able to do is obviously I need to get the guy from down below first, but I don't here's the thing, I don't know if I should be trying to get the guy from down on the guy who follows my movements, I don't know if he should be on the left or right. Okay, so here's one thing I need. If I'm going to get them both on the squares at the same time, they need to be either at the far edges on the same line, which I don't think is going to happen. Or, they need to be three... They need to have a space in between them. I don't know if I can get a space in between them either. <laughs> so if I do that, then maybe I have a chance? But this is the guy who's going to kill me if I jump into him. But now they're three apart, which is what I would need them to be. So now I just need to get them on... ...some wavelength that I can actually do something with. I understand now why my cousin couldn't do this <laughs> forever. Uh, what would the solution be here? I can split them up again. Oh, I've trapped myself by con jump by long jumping onto this thing. I God damn it! I hate that like you can't jump into his position. That just feels like an, anno an, an unnecessary annoyance to this. Whatever. Well, this is gonna take me the entire rest of the episode. I guarantee you that much. Well, I've just put them exactly back where they started.
I feel like I'm really close, but now I've just locked myself in again. All right, so here's the lesson, I think. Make sure that there's the guy on, there's the guy who follows you. If I can get them into a similar position as to that, but the guy who does who does the opposite, I just cut myself again. The guy who does the opposite as you. If I can get him to the top at the same time I get the other guy at the bottom, then that will be what I need. How did I get him before to be in the exact same spot as he started? I messed up because I once like, I now I, I've locked myself off of the entire right because I hate that you just can't jump to the same spot that one is on standing. It's just such an annoying caveat. I need to be able to re repeat the method that I did. To get them both back into the same position that they started in. I don't know how I got that other position last time. Interesting. Now I can go up a few times and go down. And now if I had left, I'm done. Okay, so to that extent, making them chest bump each other was actually the solution. Because that kept them in the same place and allowed Link to move to where he would need to be. Okay. That probably took longer than it was actually necessary, but it's a puzzle. What are you going to do? I had to figure it out. <laughs> Yield passage to the Sacred Grove. I finally solved the... Uh, I don't know. I don't know when I would have seen my cousin try to do that. Probably around 2007 would be my approximate guess. So, about 16 year old question of like, what is this puzzle and how do you actually do it? And what was the context behind it anyway? Now I understand the context. Give me my Master Sword. I'm gonna bite it. I'm gonna bite you, Fee. I'm gonna gnaw on you with my teeth. Ooh, spiky thing. 
So I assume this is the thing that allows us to transform at will. We are become Link. Now where do I see Yoshi? I'd rather write him than a Pona. Sordig has accepted you as its master. Link. Hiya. Hi. This thing is the embodiment of the evil magic that Zant cast on you. Definitely different from our tribe's shadow magic. It's orange. Careful, if you touch it, you'll turn back into a beast. This thing's too dangerous. Probably for the best if we just leave it here, huh? On the other hand, if we kept it, you'd be able to transform into a beast anytime you wanted. Yes, since Zant was kind enough to, enough to give this to us, we should be able, thankful and use it all we can. That smug-ass gringy ass. If you need it, just call me. I want to keep a low profile, so I'll hide in your shadow when you're human. But I can change you whenever. You can be a wolf anytime you like. Also, thanks to this thing, you can warp whenever you want by switching into wolf form. Hey, but listen, Link. I've got a little favor to ask. Would you mind coming with me to find something called the Mirror of Twilight? It's hidden somewhere in Hyrule. Yes, the Mirror of Twilight, our last potential link to Zant. Link will help you. Because it's cl cause clearly, like, helping you find the Fused Shadow did absolutely nothing. Did it just make Zant more powerful? What did he even do with it? Did he do even anything with it? Is this like the destroyed temple of time or something? From Ocarina of Time? I mean, there is a door that leads to this pedestal. I don't know, but it's been turned into like this. I don't know. Oh, somebody else looted it before I could even get here. I wanted a piece of heart or something. I don't know. Either way, I'm probably going to end the episode very shortly. I'm just going to do, like, last little bits of exploration in. Doesn't seem like I can get up there. Alright, so. Can I blow this up out of water? Is that allowed? Yes. Oh. Um. Dog me. See, there is a dig prompt. I knew I wasn't crazy. There is a dig prompt. Oh, I'm... I just found a thing. Found a place. What if I become human? Might be easier to attack things. I do like how seamless that feels, though. I think the only minor complaint I have with it is that you have to press L and then, like, do a menu prompt for it. It would be kind of nice if, like, you could just, like... Press the button and immediately transform. But oh well. Please, please, please let please, please. Let's 
Excuse me. I'm having problems. There we go. And we got our piece of heart. Excellent. That's a great place to end the episode. Zook me up. Okay, well, um, right. So, now the question is, how do I leave? Uh-huh. I was like, how did I get in here in the first place? Right, I dropped down. Uh. I mean, here's the thing. I could transform into a wolf and leave by warping, but I don't know if I'm supposed to do that yet or not. But I don't seem to be able to do anything in this direction. <laughs> Oh, maybe that's why a prompt didn't show up, because I wasn't in sense mode. The prompts only show up in sense mode. Alright, well, I can't do any- I can't, like, leave in a more convenient area, so... Let's just warp out of here. I think we have to. So... Where do we go now? I don't have, like, a goal, so I'm just gonna warp to Kakariko Village and buy bomb bag stuff. So I'll see you guys there next time in Let's Play Twilight Princess.